and welcome to the bread kitchen. Bagels come in all sorts of different flavours and not only are they quite easy to make, they're a lot of fun too. So for my bagels I've got 450 grams of bread flour or strong white flour, two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of dried yeast, a tablespoon of sugar and three tablespoons of sugar and an egg white. Take 300 ml of lukewarm water and add in the sugar and the yeast. Mix well and allow to stand for 10 minutes. Once your mixture is nice and frothy like this, put the flour and the salt in a large bowl and mix well. Then add in the yeast and water mixture. Then mix it all together to make a nice soft dough. Now the dough shouldn't be sticky, but mine is. So I'm just going to sprinkle on a little bit more flour, about a heat tablespoon, and knead that in to try and get rid of the stickiness. Oh, that's much better. Not sticky at all. In fact, my hands are quite clean. So I'll put the dough onto a floured board and knead it for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes or so of kneading, your dough should be nice and soft and elastic. So pop it into a lightly greased bowl, cover with plastic wrap and leave in a warm place until the dough doubles in size. I think it's fair to say that this dough has risen rather well. So I'll just take off the cling film and turn the dough out onto a lightly floured surface. Just knock it back a bit. Now I'll divide the dough into eight pieces. If you want really big bagels, you can divide it into six instead. Now I'll take each piece of dough, just make it into a ball. So I've now got eight balls of dough. I'll take a ball, press it out slightly, stick my thumb in the middle, make a hole all the way through, and the fun bit is, twirl it around your finger. This helps to make the hole bigger. Alrighty. So there's my eight bagels. I'm just going to cover them with a tea towel and leave them to rise for about another 20 minutes. Now while I'm waiting for my bagels to rise, I've got the egg white. And I'm going to beat with three tablespoons of water. After about 20 or 25 minutes, they should have puffed up a little bit more. Now let's have some fun. Take a nice big pan of simmering water and add in the three tablespoons of sugar. Stir to dissolve. Then we're on a gentle simmer, lowering the bagels. No more than two or three at a time. And just let them cook for about 30 seconds on one side. Then after about 30 seconds, flip them over so they cook on the other side. And then after about another 30 seconds, remove them from the water and pop them onto a nice clean tea towel to drain. Then continue with the next batch. Et voila, here are my poached bagels. Now then, what I've got here is a baking sheet with some lightly oiled baking paper on top. And I'm going to put my bagels on here. Now I can only fit six on here so I'll bake the other two separately. I'm just going to brush these now with the beaten egg white and water mixture. These will help them go nice and brown in the oven. And then onto two of them I'm going to sprinkle some poppy seeds. So I've got a nice poppy seed bagel. And onto another two I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seeds. This is where the egg white helps the seeds to stick to the bagel. Now I'll bake these in the oven at 180 degrees C for about 20 to 25 minutes. Once they're this lovely golden colour, they're cooked. So just pop them on a tray to cool. Delicious homemade bagels. Really, you can't beat them. Bagels are always best eaten on the day that they're baked. But if you can't eat egg bagels in a day, then they keep for a couple of days in a sealed container. And they also freeze very well too. I hope you enjoy making your bagels and do join me next time 
in the bread kitchen.